Howdy folks and welcome back to Old Car Auto Guy in the house! This is the first time that you are joining me. My name is Jason. The Beard! And this is the used car lot that I own and operate with my father. I've got a little bit of a special story to tell you, so stay tuned. So first things first guys, if you have not heard or do not know the story of Project Bubbles, this is Project Bubbles. Hunk of crap. And it's something that I bought back in November of last year. I paid 500 bucks for it. We lifted it. We put wheel spacers on it. We put 31 inch tires on this 2009 Kia Sportage. You did what? We're getting ready to blow it up. But that's not the special story that I had for you today. I just wanted to remind you, if you guys have not yet seen the announcement for the demise of Bubbles. I'm gonna put a link right up here in the cards so you guys can go take a look at that video on your spare time. The story that I wanted to share with you this morning involves this Versa Note that is sitting behind me. You see, real good customers of ours who have bought, this will be their fourth, I believe, vehicle from us in the last several years, uh, came to me and said it's time to replace their Honda Fit. Honda Fit is 2007. Uh, it's got well over 200K on the odometer. So they like the hatchback, they like the small economy car, and they said, well, here's my budget. This is what we're looking for. So initially, when we started looking at his budget and see what's out there, unfortunately, I had to go back to him and tell him, there's not much out there that's any good for that kind of money. So I said, if you could increase your budget just by a couple thousand dollars, I'm gonna make it rain. Then we would be more apt to find exactly what you're looking for. Now keep in mind, we did have almost exactly what he was looking for right here on the lot already. This 2017 Chevy Spark with very, very low miles was exactly what he was looking at vehicle-wise. He didn't want a Chevrolet. <laughs> he wanted something foreign. Let's not go there, man. So he had a few stipulations. He says, I want a Toyota Yaris, a Honda Fit, Nissan Versa Note, I would even look at the Kia Rio and the Hyundai Accent. So the Hyundai Accent Kia Rio was the least expensive of all those. So that's kind of what we had our mindset on was to find one of those to fit his budget, no mind. So at the end of the day, we said, look, to fit your budget, we're still having quite a difficulty to get you into that budget that's gonna make you happy as well as something that's gonna satisfy us on our end. I mean, we are in the business to make money, and because this is a really good customer, you know, we understand that we're we're not going to make, you know, a great big profit on them. We're willing to take a little bit of a sacrifice. So we had to have a little chat. At the end of the day, and long story short, we found this Versa note. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, buddy. So this is a 2014 Versa Note. It has 70,000 kilometers. It's an SV model, which means it comes loaded up really nice on the inside. It has backup camera, it has fog lights, it has aluminum wheels, it even has heated seats. And it drives like a dream. And as you can see, I bought this out of an auction in Quebec, and I was able to have it shipped directly from the auction in Montreal. So on Saturday, no, sorry. On Sunday, I made a special trip on my long weekend. You're a real keener, aren't you? <laughs> up to the trucking company to pick this car up. I needed to make a run to the city anyway. So me and a buddy went up and uh, we picked this car up and I brought it home and I did pick up some footage while driving home. So take a look at this. I had a customer looking for a specific vehicle, a uh, Nissan Versa Note. And I'm driving that Nissan Versa Note as we speak. I went and picked it up at the transport company and uh, I'm driving it home right now. And I just happened to notice that the odometer is about to roll over to 70,000 kilometers. So unfortunately the customer is not going to be getting a 69,000 kilometer vehicle. It could be 70,000 and change. So sorry Wes, I didn't mean to put all those miles on for you. So once we get this vehicle back to the shop uh, on the first of the week, we will get it cleaned up and go through it just like we would any other vehicle. And then we'll be calling Wes up and telling him his car is ready. 
So Wes and family, you're gonna be getting your car hopefully today. I am going to make sure that we get this in the shop right away, first thing this morning, and gone through. I drove it, I can't feel anything that's out of the norm other than maybe a little rattly heat shield, which we can fix, and uh, we will change the oil, and we will go over everything as far as brakes and stuff like that for you as well. Make sure that it's inspected, and that you are ready to roll for several more years. In a car from Old Car Auto Sales. Thanks, Wes. Well guys, we've made it to work early on a Wednesday morning and guess what? I picked up my tool heads crate for May. So let's dive in. So just from watching other guys open their crate, I already know what's inside here and you guys are going to be impressed. It is cleaning related. So let's get to it. So as we open it up, we've got our introductory letter letting us know what this kit is all about and it's basically all about cleaning and uh, cleaning products and brought to you by the Toolbox Cleaner, Grease Monkey Wipes, SPC Tools, and Zolex Hand Cleaner. So, I'm gonna leave all these links to these guys in the description and you guys can check them out for yourself. Or, you can go get your very own tool heads crate. I will leave that link down there as well. So let's get to it. So the first thing we notice is this uh, microfiber towel. Uh, there's actually two of them there. And these are great for uh, removing wax uh, or uh, you know, wiping down windows, uh, different stuff like that. So you can use these even just for wiping your hands off if you want to. But they're such, uh, they're so soft, and they're they're just uh, they're great cleaning products to have on hand. As we dive in here as well, we've got a couple of brushes. So this one here is a uh, is a nice long wooden handled brush, and it's uh, it's labeled as a parts detailer. But I like using these as well for. Uh, for cleaning inside the vehicles, getting inside those little cracks, and uh, and there's various. It's a very stiff bristle, and uh, it gets into all those cracks where your trim and all that stuff is. But yes, you can use this for parts cleaning as well, uh, with the wooden handle, the nylon brush. Um, you can use that with just about anything uh, that you want to bar saw, um, you know, brake cleaner stuff like that. Also, you've got uh, the uh, Calhawk three-piece mini brush set. So there's you've got brass. Uh, looks like you've got stainless as well as the nylon in there as well. And uh, we've got this stuff here. This is the uh, the toolbox cleaner. We are going to do a quick demonstration on the toolbox cleaner, and uh, we'll come back to that in just a minute. We've also got the uh, wet hands. For, oh, this is the, this is the uh, Zolax hand cleaner removes virtually everything no greasy residue so that looks like it's about the consistency of play-doh smells kind of like cleaner doesn't taste like play-doh though anyways we're gonna have to try that stuff out at some point too that's a uh, hand cleaner can't wait to use that and of course you've got your trusty old fingernail brush so that you can get right in there and get that grease and stuff out from underneath your fingernails This month's Toolheads Crate sticker is by Grease Monkey. It's got a little Grease Monkey uh, guy on there as well as it says, uh, keep it clean, Grease Monkey Toolheads. Oh, that's pretty cool, that's gonna go on the toolbox. We've also got some uh, heavy duty cleaning wipes. So these are, I would assume, for your hands uh, to clean those up and they are citrus formula. So they're gonna smell really good as well. It says garage, kitchen, car, boating, camping, biking, or just about anywhere, so yeah. With something to throw in the glove box of your car you get stuck on the side of the road and you have to do a roadside repair and your hands get greasy uh, then this is something you can keep right in your car and uh, wash your hands up when you're done also we've got this uh, SP tools this is a looks like a, about a eight millimeter ratchet a wrench with the end cut off so I guess it says it's a bottle opener which comes in handy at the campground so you can see on the edge of the tool, one side of the uh, actual uh, ratchet, or one side of the actual wrench is cut off so that you can get underneath that bottle cap. And of course, it's got one of those fancy uh, zip ties on there that are probably too good to break, but oh, well there, we slipped it right off. So it's also got a little chain on it so you can attach it to your keys and have it. So that sucker right there is going, yeah, and it is eight millimeter, eight millimeter. That sucker is going right down to the campground for those Picaroons non-twist beer tops. Last but not least, we've got our uh, May 
Tool Heads Crate T-shirt. And it's kind of like a light gray color. Of course, it's got tool heads on the front. And we flip it over onto the back side. And you've got basically the same grease monkey that was on the sticker that says Grease Monkey, Dirty Mouth, Clean Tools. So I'm pretty impressed with this month's tool haul. Uh, we are going to go back into the shop and we're going to uh, use this uh, toolbox cleaner on Dad's toolbox and uh, see how it turns out. Let's go. So I figured I would try this toolbox cleaner, this uh, waterless wash and wax on, uh, on our big cabinet here. As you can see, it's all aluminum or stainless drawers on it. And one of the things that I find with aluminum like fridges is that they leave fingerprints and uh, smudges all the time. So this one is no different. As you can see, it's got dirt and water spots and greasy fingerprints on the handles. And I did use it on this top drawer. And take a look at that difference. As we look down at the bottom one here, which I did not do. And now you kind of see them both together. What a difference it makes at getting rid of all these smudges and dirt that uh, greasy fingerprints will leave behind. So this is also a good product to use on stainless or aluminum. So folks, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the little demonstration from uh, the Toolheads crate, and I hope that you jump on board with that monthly subscription and to help support those guys doing that channel. Toolheads uh, crate is brought to you by JRC54, Russ Belt Mechanic, and Dirty Old Ron. No, not Dirty Old Ron, Captain Ron. Uh, over there, and I'll put their links in the description box below. But you guys can go check out the Toolheads crate, get one for your very own self, and enjoy the uh, gifts that they give you each month for just $35.99 American. They ship to Canada, they ship to the US, I believe they also ship to Australia, so if you're watching me and you're in Australia, you too can get your very own Toolheads crate. So here I sit on the waterfront eating my lunch because this morning as I was doing my outro, customers started coming in and I had to uh, exit very quickly. So guys, this video is also being brought to you by Sussex Beard Oil. You can go to this link right here and when you enter in the promo code glove box you can get your very own travel size beard oil with any purchase of a regular size beard oil and they also ship to canada and the us the description box is going to be full of a lot of links uh, for you guys to go down and check out uh, for everything so please do that and don't be afraid to hit uh, some of those links up for uh, subscriptions as well if you like their content guys as always i'm looking for license plates to finish up that wall art project if you've got some spare license plates please send them to me my addresses are listed down below we're also getting ready to blow up project bubbles and again if you don't know what project bubbles is you can go right here and check out the playlist for bubbles and know exactly what we're talking about but in order for me to release that video we have got to get to 2,000 subscribers so if you are not subscribed to this channel yet Go down to the description box below and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Having subscribers and getting to 2,000 is when we will show the demise of Bubbles. So you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be an exciting time. We're getting ready to film that uh, in the upcoming weeks, but I don't release it until we reach that milestone. So guys, I don't want to have to tell you that I'll shave my beard to get to 2,000 subscribers but it might just have to come to that. You do not want to see me without a beard. Not a, not a very good thing. Anyways, as I always say, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror, guys. I love you so much. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.